Same night that Foster was killed, you broke into his pool house and stole a few thousand dollars worth of tools and equipment. We know because we found some of the stolen equipment in your vehicle. And we found this cigarette butt in the pool house. It'll definitely have your DNA on it. Everybody knows that place is all wired up with some fancy alarm system. I didn't kill anybody. I never saw Foster and I never went to his house. Nice if you could prove that. I can't. But I do have some particular information on that evening. Information that you want. Okay. Uh-uh. Not until I get a deal on the theft and the breaking and entering charges. A good one, too. You want a deal? Okay. And just to be clear, is this a deal for the theft and B&E alone? Or the tax evasion as well? What? According to your IRS records, you haven't filed a tax return since 2002. Unless you haven't earned a dime in income in seven years, you're facing some pretty serious tax evasion charges. Do you have any idea how much prison time that carries? Prison time? Serious time. Massive fines. I'm gonna let you think about it. When I was loading stuff out of the pool house, I saw a car in the woods, a black BMW. There was somebody sitting in the driver's seat. Foster's wife. Lillian Foster. I've seen her in town. She sat there the whole time. She never even noticed me. She just stared at the house. Was she still there when you left? Yes. So you'll do something, I mean, about the tax thing. Don't worry, I was lying about that. <laughs>